What is up YouTube? It's your boy the min 234 and I'm back here today with another Pokemon Booster Pack video. Today I got the Hinuous Hidden Fates 10 Raichu GX. Now this tin was released today, the 6th, but this video is probably be up in like in a week or two most likely since I'm trying to save money and save time. Uh, I picked this up at my local EB Games for you guys from the States. EB Games is GameStop, same company, just different name in different countries. In the States, it's a GameStop. Here in Canada, it's EB Games. Um, they had a Raichu and a Charizard one, which I have here with me, which I'll open another day. Actually, I'll show it to you guys right now. The only one they didn't have was Gyarados. And it was funny, the EB Game Store, there's the Charizard. The EB Game Store that I went to, they I asked them for Hidden Fates tin. They thought I meant the pin collection. They told me it was sold out day one. I was like, wait, what? And then I checked the front shelf, and they had these. And they didn't know Hidden Fates packs are in these tins. They had no idea. They thought they were like, ah, regular tins for Unified Minds, whatever. But nope, these are the ones. Uh, I'm going to try my best to track down Gyarados. As far as I know, a lot of places have sold out. Ridiculously enough, my local Walmarts are not even selling them on stock. I asked many Walmart people, many, I went to four different Walmarts today, and they all said, no, these were just online. What kind of horse shit is that? Oy. So, I don't know if they're telling the truth or a lie, but if they are, if somebody who else who lives in Toronto knows about this, let me know, because for now I'm taking their word, because I couldn't find any of theirs from pin collection boxes on the day of the release at Walmarts. Only Toys R Us and EB Games had them, so EB Games came through with this, so I'm very excited. Let's open this Raichu tin up, and let's see what we can pull, boys. Oh. Feels so nice to open this up. Here is the Raichu promo, as you guys can see right there. Beautiful. I'm just gonna put the promo back after. Oh, the pack slipped out. Lovely. Four packs as usual, all hidden fates. I'm so ecstatic to open this up. Only because the thing is, the last time I opened this tin, I opened the, not this tin, sorry, these uh, hidden fate packs. I did not get any good, I got somewhat of a good luck, like average pulls, I didn't get the worst pulls, like I got shinies, granted one of my Gibble shinies wasn't that good, good condition, like an error pack apparently, but yeah, it's okay, here's the code card for you lovely people, I think this unlocks the Raichu GX, I'm pretty sure, alrighty, let's start off opening the packs, I'll leave the Raichu last, yep, one of each artwork I guess, so I'm going to start off with Mewtwo, let's start off with you buddy, Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for redemption and pulling something awesome from these. If I get a dud tin, I'll be so pissed. Very, very pissed. Pro card for you people right there. One, two, three, four, one, two. First pack starts off with Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Lightning Energy. Farfetch, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Chansey, oh, a Celesteela Shiny, ayy, very nice, look at that, and a Golem Rare, cool, look at that, guys, very nice, I think I should use the code card, put that there, and I grab a sleeve real quick, sleeve this bad boy up, very nice, don't have that, that's what I'm talking about right there. Awesome. Put the golem on the side. Oh, put the wrapper in the garbage. <sighs> Moving on to Mew. Let's open Mew next. Shiny Charizard is the name of the game. I've seen someone already pull a Shiny Charizard from uh, this tin. Uh, Jordan Fringe, a YouTuber that I watched, started watching recently. I didn't realize a long time ago he used to be the editor and part of uh, another gaming channel called The Game Chasers and I didn't realize it was the same guy. I was like, oh cool, I didn't know he did Pokemon stuff. So very cool. And yeah, he pulled a shiny Charizard GX from the tin. So that was pretty cool. Hopefully that same thing can happen to me. Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Star U, Dark Energy, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Search's Strategy, ooh, ooh, Fighting Energy, and a Cafable, regular rare. 
Put that there. I'm gonna sleeve this fighting energy because it looks pretty nice. It looks hella nice actually. So, not bad. 1.5 hit. We move on to the legendary birds. Pack. Hopefully pull something cool from this legendary birds. Here's the code card. Actually, it doesn't matter if I show you the back of the code card. They're all white code cards anyway. Due to the fact that none of them are the green color ones. Alright. Pack starts off with Focus, Eevee, Ekans, Paris, Caterpie, Charmander, Lightning Energy, Lieutenant Surge, Misty Determination, Scyther, hey, a Guzzlard, shiny, and a Bill's, ooh, Bill's Analysis, that's a very good rare, actually, that's worth something, but, hey, a Guzzlord, shiny, very nice, all right, actually, pretty good pulls, not the most wowing pulls, but still pretty good pulls, not complaining, look at that, and Bill's Analysis, hells yeah, Mostly they reprinted a lot of the trainer cards because a lot of the other sets that had trainer cards went up depending on how good the trainer cards were. So for example, Bill's Analysis was a very good trainer card, supporter card. And because the only set you could have got it from at the time I'm pretty sure is Unified Minds. I could be wrong. People, they usually tend to release uh, the trainer cards in other sets. That way they lower the price of them so people don't actually raise the value because if more people want to add those supporter cards to your deck you know you don't want to scounge and spend five to ten dollars for them right so here's a code card last pack hopefully get some last pack magic alrighty last pack starts off with Clefairy Slowpoke Magikarp Pikachu Voltorb Psychic Energy Jinx Misty's Determination Brock's Pewter City Gym. <gasps> Whoa! And it. Ooh! Wow! It's a shiny stack attack of GX! Full art! Whoa! Look at that! And a Vaporeon Hall Foil. Very nice. Oh man! That's awesome, guys! This was definitely an awesome, awesome 10. So I'm gonna sleeve the stack attack. Alright guys, let's go over our pulls and see what we got. I'm going to add the Bill's Analysis too because actually it's worth something, I'm pretty sure. And the Miss and the Vaporeon Hollow Foil. I'll sleep the Vaporeon Hollow Foil later, I'm a little lazy right now. But yeah guys, these are all of our pulls right there. If you guys enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. And stay tuned for more Pokemon Booster Pack videos. Alright, peace people!